For an in-depth analysis of the bold step forward taken by South Korea today, we have Shin Dong-hyuk, Assistant Professor at the Department of Aerospace Engineering at KAIST, in the studio with us. Professor Shin, it's great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, first of all, uh, when we launched NARO a few years back, uh, expectations were high and we were surprised about the results back then. Now, it was a very different maiden launch for Nuri. Could you give us your overall assessment? So, also, I was very nervous watching the whole launch sequence during the 16 seconds, I mean, 16 minutes, and then I, I, I'm very happy to see the, the 99%. I'm, although it's not complete success, I'm very happy with the, the success, the big success of the launch. And then I think it's because of the endless effort of, and then day and night working uh, researchers who's behind it, kind of working, and then come up with a new idea to, to resolve any issue. So uh, it's a big success to engineer as well as all the Korean people who are, who are supporting this launch. Right. It's a very important step forward, of course, and it's also very significant that we developed this entirely using South Korean technology. I'm right. sure we're not the first in the world, but there is a significance to this, and it could be an important turning point for us mm -hmm. in sure. many ways. Definitely, yeah. So, so in, in, uh, based on this technology, there's uh, a lot of the propagation we can, we can do. Um, so, for, for example, there, there is uh, some space regime and then uh, some private sector will come up with a new idea to, to make it profitable. And then also the launching satellite itself is a big market, so even though uh, typically it's a government who want to launch the satellite. But uh, I think, it, of course, the U.S. is the leader on, on this uh, market, but you can still become the competitor in terms of this market and then attract uh, some foreign uh, Kind of, uh, foreign uh, investors and consumers from outside. Right, it will make South Korea a very appealing destination for many sectors. Speaking of which, what kind of stepping stone will this launch provide for future of various sectors? So, so for I, I think the, the 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 most close thing will be some satellites. Actually, we are already done. Ex I mean, we are quite advanced in terms of making satellite. Uh, but uh, in in the future, there will be a uh, eight Korean GPS system. You, you use the navigate system, which you rely on uh, uh, GPS satellite, and then that satellite will be support. I mean, coming coming from the Korean Korea made one, which will be very uh, uh, good good one. Yeah. And then also next year, uh, uh, the government want to launch the Moon Orbiter, so which will be a big stepping stone for uh, Korean aerospace. And then another big important thing is uh, security. So uh, our country has a very uh, quite, quite special situation surrounded by uh, different countries. So the, the, this uh, space technology can provide a big uh, advantage in terms of uh, security and defense as well. Right, we are one of the most wired countries in the world, so why mm -hmm. not go a step further in other areas? And once we start uh, digging in, we right. usually uh, get mm -hmm. better and better and become Definitely. a leader eventually. Uh, we can give ourselves a deserving pat on the back and celebrate what we have right now, but uh, we can't dwell on it too much, of course, Professor. What's the next step in terms of relevant preparations for us from here on? So first of all, I guess we have to complete the current uh, uh, rocket launcher. So I'm sure engineers are co collecting and then analyzing the data from uh, this launch. So that that is the first thing. And then next May, there is a planned uh, on, on another launch. So, so that will be going on. And then in terms of moving forward, I mean, moving forward, so we, the, some issue, I mean, something we can do is uh, increasing the capacity. So right now we have a 750 kilonewton of engine, and then we close the four of them. So uh, then we can, uh, actually right now, we cannot really uh, leave the, the Earth's gravity. So, so we can increase uh, the capacity of each engine. And then also later on, we can, put more and basically more, much higher clustering, cl clustering technology, we, which can enable us, enable us to fly to moon and then Mars and beyond. Well, lastly, before we let you go, there are some X factors involved when we prepare for the launch. Like, for instance, we had a delay this time. Mm -hmm. uh, what can we do next time to make sure there are no glitches like delays or certain uh, hiccups along the way? Uh, uh, it's a little bit, yeah, it's a difficult question. So whether we can, uh, actually my pre preference is uh, it's okay to delay and having a complete uh, launch. So I'll be very happy even they delay by, because uh, currently we set up extra seven days for, for the, pre I mean, so in case anything happens. So 
I'll be very happy if they delay by one or day or week. I'll be happy, but still like to see there is a complete success of the launch later on. Right, we have a tendency to, of course, rush into things. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this time, it was a very successful collaboration between the government and private companies. Right. Uh, we can we look forward to more such collaboration or mm -hmm. greater synergy in that aspect? Yes. Yeah, so I think it's designed that way because uh, now the people call this is a new space, whether the, the investment or development is coming from government to the private sector. However, still, if you look globally, still the government you know, in any country, still it's the government who could spend the uh, most portion of the money. And then, uh, yes, I think this is a very good design to, to include the private sector so that later on they can develop their own technology. And then more, there will be more spin up engine, I mean, speed up companies which come up with a new idea and then make it more pro profitable later on. Right, cutting tapes and breaking down barriers to make sure we mishmash and work together yeah. to create greater synergy in the future. Well, Professor Chen Dongyeo, we'll have to let you go for now. Thank you so much for making time for us. We no appreciate problem. it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.